Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm teaching you something I've had loads of requests for over the years, so it's been on my list. I've finally got round to tabbing it out. It's Long Train Running by the Doobie Brothers. I'm using a C diatonic harmonica. This is a special 20, but any harp in the key of C, diatonic harp, will be fine for this. You can also follow the tabs with any other key of harp, but you won't be able to play along with the record. So I've broken it down line by line and I've got this program Transcribe up on my computer. That's so we can listen to some of the lines slowed down. So hopefully that'll help you to understand exactly what's going on because it's pretty fast. The only other thing I'll say before we start is that I've used the version which is the biggest hit on YouTube. So I've been on YouTube and found it's got 17 million hits or something as of uh, uh, recording this, or 15 million or something. There are other versions and there are slight differences, but it's just a note here or there. So I'm not sure if this is a live version or a studio version, but it's if you YouTube it, it's the, the version you'll hear. So let's have a listen to the starting line. We slow that down. Hopefully you can hear it. Okay, so that's 50% speed. So, it's all pretty kind of blended together as one. It's almost continuous, this line. I have put gaps in the tab because if I kind of put arrows between every single note, I think it would be harder to read, harder to understand. So we're gonna start with a four draw bend it down and bend it up. So you need single notes and bending ability to play this. Check the description beneath the video if you want to see my lessons on each of those techniques. So bend uh, the four down and then back up. And then we're going bend and up again. And again, and then once more up. So. And then that final four draw, there's maybe a bit of the five draw creeping in. So instead of you'd get kind of like that, just a little bit dirty if you like. So line A. I played the last note quite clean then, but you could let that five draw creep in. There's going to be loads of four draw in this. So let's listen to the next line. Line B. Okay, so four draw. It's gonna bend up from the bend on four to the natural note and then play that note again. And it does that six times. If we listen again. It's hard to hear, it's actually quite low in the mix at that point compared with the guitar, but. It's triplets. It does that triplet three times. Okay, and then, so the second half of line B, this is like a classic blues line, really. So bending up from the four draw and then down again, and then sliding down to the two draw. Ah, uh, excuse me. All in one blended sort of smooth movement. And then two draw. 
rhythm of that. Let me just double check. Can't you remember? Just work this out and then film the lesson straight away. So sorry if it's not perfect. And one of the difficult things with this solo is that there's lots of repeated notes that are played quite kind of funky. So sometimes the note is played on the beat and then it, the next time they play it, it might be played kind of off the beat, so on the upbeat between the two beats. So that's kind of funky, like syncopated. So that line B, Okay, and then line C. Okay. So we're gonna play three draw, four blow. But they're, they're kind of very quiet. They're just a, it's almost just a breath pattern thing to get him up to the four draw. And then, so. And this runs straight into line D. There is a reason I've split them up. I'll explain once I've played you line D. So this is C into D. Okay, so the reason I have split up C and D, even though they really run into each other, is line D, we're gonna start again with that triplet line. And we'll play it six times. But line C, that kind of second half of line C, it's almost like he goes to play those triplets but fluffs it a little bit. Now, if you listen to the other version, maybe the album version, is a bit cleaner here. So it's almost like you'll hear more of those triplet lines. But on this version, at least, and as I say, this is the version that, that came up on YouTube. And the first, I tabbed it out and then I thought, oh, no, there's other versions. Um, it's almost like a bit fluffed. So line C, you could play on that line if you wanted to. But I've split it up for that reason. So line D will go just line D. Okay, so we've got that triplet line six times again. Okay, so we've got four draw bend, goes up, and then you play that four draw again. It's actually the way it's played, it's kind of less of a tripler. The notes are taking up the same length, but it's almost like syncopated to the rhythm of the song. So it's not actually being played one, two, three, one, two, three as a triplet, but I'm kind of thinking of it as a triplet in my head because it's like three over four. Anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> so six times he plays that. And then the there's, there's a slight four draw just as he's kind of going up to the five draw. So I don't know if you can hear that. So it's kind of and on that five draw you're going to try and wail it a bit, kind of bend into it and slide down to the two draw. So four draw on the way up, bend into the five draw or kind of war into the five draw, slide down to the two and then play the two again. And then there's a slight little chord out just at the end. Again, I think it's a breath control thing. And 
and then we're into line E. I don't even know if you'd be able to hear that on the video with my mic, but uh, I can hear there's a, there's a little 3-4 blow just before we get to line E, which is a, a nicer warble line, I think, line E. Okay, so basically it's a three and four, sorry, a four and five warble. Back and forth, trill like that. But it kind of starts with a four draw on its own. It maybe even bends that four draw. I've just put four draw, but you could bend it if you want. And then. holding that, uh, oh, that warble for the rest of the line. Okay, and then last few lines, F, G, and H. Line F, oops, excuse me, line F. Okay, so we've got So basically some wailing away on that four draw and then a breath out again to balance his air. Let's have another listen. So the way I've split it up is we've got a kind of bend up, a big bend up on that four from the bend to the natural note and then a quicker kind of up, down, up and then one more bend up. So it's kind of... And then... Sort of just breathes out on that four, but you can hear the notes either side. It is quite rough. So... So it's pretty rough. Um, I should have said that middle bit of line F, the, the, when it goes up to that four draw, just before the last little bit of the line, it, it kind of holds that, that four draw quite a while. Two lines to go, let's see what G has. Okay, so we've got... I think... So we're going to start on that five draw, kind of wail it, war it a bit, slide to the two draw, little breath out, it's around the three and four blow, again it's just balancing the air, and then, again that kind of funky syncopated. Okay, and then line H is similar. like uh, the line but a bit shorter. So we're wailing the five draw, sliding down to the two, little breath out, and then da 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 da, two draw, two draw, two draw, two draw. I think there's a studio version which has more of a punchy or something like that or at the end, like a few more two draws. There's a couple of little differences between different versions I've heard, but the the broad solo is the same. And I think the fact that there are these slightly different versions out there shows that either the guy learnt the solo before recording it, or once he'd recorded it, he learnt it for live performances or something like that. Um, because there's so much similarity, it's not, just, it's not just chance, they're very, very similar. I hope the version of the solo that I've taught you today is something like what you were hoping for, and good luck learning it. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. 
If you'd like step-by-step -step lessons from beginner to advanced and the chance to submit videos and audio to me to give you feedback and talk to other students, then check out a free trial of my Harmonica School. I'm giving you 30 days free access to try out as many of my courses as you like. No obligation to sign up at the end if it's not for you, but I think you're going to love it. So check the link in the description to find out more. I'll see you again soon for another harmonica lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. Cheers.